week five, and in a little bit, week six. They're both in the same one. So, hybrid course this is Friday the 15th. BCA, Web Design, Introduction to Design. We talked a little more on focus on learning. We, um, we wrap up the main part of this series, focus on learning. If you remember, we, uh, we talked about change. Then we talked about grit. And then drive, Daniel Pink. Probably haven't spent too much time on that. And then the last one we talk about, I did a video for the teachers back 2015, so it's been about four years ago. And so that's the last one, and then we're going to get your, your input on that. So <clears throat> the whole idea is that you focus on the learning rather than just getting things done or just on the grade. <clears throat> Evaluating websites. We talked about that, and it's not easy. You know, there's there's such a huge variety of what exists in terms of websites. Design, you are to create your first design. You know, sketch something out. Um, at least have some type of a plan to start with. That makes sense? Having some type of plan that you have some direction to go. <clears throat> We're going to talk about things in design. And then we also got started on WordPress. Now most of this, most of this is discovery. You know, we give you some things to do, but a lot of it's discovery. You can work on this outside of home and there's lots of other resources. A resource that um, I put in the announcements for the upcoming week, WordPress Beginners. I get their uh, newsletter. I don't know if you like getting newsletters or whatever, but it's good. It gives a lot of good ideas and hints. They have a good blog, and uh, it's just a place where you can share ideas, get ideas. The object here it's all about what you're learning and not just what I want or what uh, Kelly Miller wants and so forth. It's you. You learning. You're learning. So, are you task driven? Grade driven? Both of those are not bad inherently. You know, they're not they're not bad. You know, it's good for people who want to get tasks done. And it's nothing wrong with wanting to get a good grade. But what we really should be emphasizing is what we learn. Your cognitive skill is going to be key in terms of what you do and how much success you have and so forth. Your ability to learn and what you gather from your opportunities here at school. You know, that's what school is. It's an opportunity to allow you to do what you want in life. Not necessarily, you know, not necessarily make a lot of money, even though there's nothing wrong with that. But um, it allows you to have the life that you enjoy. We did some evaluation of websites. We talked about content. Do they want to inform? Are they facts? Are they opinions? Those are key things. And we had the video by Jenny that you should have watched, which gives you some insights into um, evaluating websites. Back here, we, um, we did some work, <clears throat> you know, we also, I recorded the day's session, and I will post that also. We did a WebEx. A couple of you know what I'm talking about. You were able to connect in via video conference, which then allowed us to...
talk and follow along these things and then the, my screen will be captured for that so look for that being posted also that's why there's not more notes here all right this was last Friday um I should also mention now last Friday <coughs> last Friday we uh, 22nd <coughs> week 6 I don't know why I write it there and have it right there but anyway web design did some key things in terms of course review we talked a little bit about the outline why it's important to look up material you know you get you have your own view your perspective then you get the perspective of something via some online You know, that could be Wikipedia or whatever, and I think most of you are finding, you're, you're, you're finding some very valuable stuff online. And then, we get the group. Our class, we, we can discuss things in class that relate to the outline. The activities, you need to be doing those. And then, looking at the comments, when um, typically I... My job is to review those activities and look at your work. And so see the reflection, you know, either what other students mentioned in the discussion or what I mentioned or Kelly Miller and so forth. This is where a key thing in terms of you getting some idea and direction on um, the activities and the work you've done there. Classroom work. Basically, we're doing the HTML and now the WordPress. And you don't have to work on those just in class. They're a great opportunity to explore and, and, and try some new things in both of those areas outside of class. Today we'll do a little review of Unit 4 and that's what we should be working on this week. I showed some things for domo domain names. We looked at some examples. I did. Uh, we had a subdomain in fact, I could write that out here. Probably got enough room down here. So, web class dot Dirksen Education. And I showed where I set that up. Dot com. You know, I got these names way back up. Uh, in hindsight, I would have gotten something other than .com, but I'm thinking I'm going to change it. So this is the domain name right here, and this is the subdomain, and it's very easy to create those once you uh, get your domain name. Full stack, we looked at the softball project, which is really cool. Um, how would you... How would you um, do the work for the softball project? Where we got pitchers, and then we record their pitch with a count and where the pitch went. So we got a couple things there. We got a couple different then types of batters, three different types of batters. We're gonna gather all that data up and then look at the results. Like if the count is uh, two and one. What's the percentage of each of these type of pitches that will be thrown to a certain type of batter? We got a lot of good input on that. We're going to talk about that here in a minute. Talked about design. Top down. Most people realize top down relates to um, design in which you get lots of the details taken care of at certain levels in the design. The analysis and then you design before you start to develop. The advantage of that is you don't start developing something and be completely off track and then having to completely start over. Bottom up, we use the term prototype, where um, sometimes it's called rapid prototyping, which you get some of the analysis, but then you right away create a design 
and then you take feedback on the design. It's really a great idea for websites if you have the time and enough resources to produce a prototype and then maybe that prototype then eventually will turn into the actual website. The other thing we did then on Friday was the classroom. So, <clears throat> we have a the softball project up here. I just list these things, user interface, user experience. Somewhere here we have some we're gonna have some type of way to input the data. Okay, so it'll be uh, information about the batters. Just three things. Right hand at left hand at slapper. And then we'll input the um the pitch okay let me clean that up a little bit the pitch so I think there's like five different categories pitches and then we input the location of the pitch based on the catcher there's like four things there. That all goes in then to the count. And then we keep track of the counts and the pitches and so forth for a particular pitcher. So we, we got to have a way to input this data. And then somewheres, okay, we put it in. And then somewhere we're going to get it back out. In terms of with this count, it's the certain percentage that the pitcher will throw this or this. Yeah, pretty good information. So we want to look at a cool way here, um, cool way to put the data in. Some way to store it, the database class could figure out a way to make it some tables in which we store the data down here in the database. We have some students with the expertise can write the code in the back of all this, the back code for this, and then here in the web class we should be able to design, it, may, it, may, it wouldn't be perfect, but um, probably design, like do this whole thing bottom up prototype. Make a quick little design of what the web would look like, you know, to put data in and get it out. We had some people had some great ideas here to get the data out. They said the results, you could hover over a result and it could give you a pie chart with the percentages. I thought that sounded good. Input, um, a lot of people talked about having separate pages. You would just select from menus. You really wouldn't have to type anything. So we could build some pretty nice uh, prototypes of this. And then some other use some other resources to write some of the code. Like we could do it in PHP. That would take this input and store it in the database and then it would take where you tap on the screen, it would put the data in and query and bring the data back out that we need. And then also the code could do the algorithm part of managing the data. This whole idea from top to bottom here, this whole idea from top to bottom, in the world sometimes is referred to as a full stack idea by the way there are people who get trained to do this and there's lots of opportunities and rewarding type of work for that alright that is it